Finally tonight, another sign of the times, a bus tour in St. Charles County, taking shoppers on an excursion, but not to the shops on Old Main Street or to outlet malls. These shoppers were being shown empty, foreclosed homes. Patrick Murphy tonight has another story about how this region is facing the mortgage crisis. On this Sunday morning in St. Charles County, these prospective home buyers are on a bus tour of foreclosed properties. A company called Integrity Land Title is partnering with local realtors to get these houses sold to new owners. This is something relatively new for St. Charles County. You know, people are yeah. upset, they're angry, mm -hmm. you know, they're being shoved out of their homes. And it's very sad. Yeah. You know, by bringing people to buy the homes, if we don't, these homes, the reality is they're here. And they're going to sit, they're vacant, they deteriorate, um, they're prone to vandalism. And it's like, why not bring buyers in to, to purchase the home, turn them back into homes? It hurts the community the longer they sit. The faster we move them, the better they look, the quicker the neighborhood turns around and the neighborhood and the folks around it are happier, it's safer. So anything you can do to keep them occupied makes it a safer community, so we like to be a part of that. For years, St. Charles County has enjoyed a boom in housing and new businesses. But during the first four months of 2008, foreclosures were 42 percent higher than during the same period last year. Foreclosure numbers are still lower than in St. Louis City and County, but a slowing economy has also affected the number of permits issued for new housing. It's obvious that it's not only single homes, but developers who have, are having uh, multiple tracks uh, foreclosed on as well. Um, so it's, uh, it's very serious and we hear a lot of rumors about um, different developers being in trouble and um, we hope they're not true but we'll just have to wait and see. St. Charles based T.R. Hughes has been one of the region's largest builders. In 2005 the company built over 300 homes. Last year that number dropped to about 200. Now Hughes is downsizing and negotiating with its lenders. At one point, uh, we had a land development company and a home building company. In the home building company, we probably had about 150 people, and we're down to about 60 people right now. I didn't realize it, but I was getting into the business just when the, the, at the beginning of the up cycle, uh, which was one of the longest up cycles um, uh, that the home building industry has had. And, and yeah, things were good for several years and, and uh, more and more people were buying homes and, and price of homes were going up and price of land was going up. And now we're in the, we're in the correction, which is, uh, which is, that's what happens. So. Foreclosures are actually part of a larger picture. Even during the boom year, St. Charles County was experiencing some economic challenges. Internet sales began cutting into sales tax revenue, which accounts for well, more than 60% of the county's budget. TIFs diverted money from county coffers to developers, and $4 per gallon gasoline doesn't help either. But during times of strong economic growth, it still worked. Today, these factors are combining to create a kind of ripple effect. I think it's bad for the entire region, not only in residential home development, but in job creation for the last decade or so. Uh, a, a large percentage of the new jobs that, that have been created have been created here in, in St. Charles County in the high-tech corridor out along I-64 and other parts of the county. So when the economy slows down in, in St. Charles County, I think you know, it's not only bad for us, but it's, it's bad for the entire region. In 1994, sales tax was growing at the rate of about 12% a year. And uh, this year we were projecting a growth rate of 3.25%. And as of May, uh, we have no growth rate at all. In fact, we have a negative number, a negative 0.2.3 percent, uh, which caused us last week to go ahead and actually ask all of our department heads to cut 8 uh, percent from this year's budget uh, until we can see exactly what does happen to the economy for the rest of the year. And though most of us think of homelessness as a big city phenomenon, it's a growing problem in St. Charles County, though not nearly as visible as in St. Louis. In our last homeless count at the end of January 2008, we counted over 600 homeless individuals in St. Charles County. We primarily have the working poor who fall off the edge in 
in being able to juggle both a home and a car. And those other expenses related to family life, including um, health care. Uh, and so, again, when they have to make a choice, they often have to choose to let go of the home. And it's not just homeowners who are being affected by the increase in foreclosures. Many rental properties are single-family homes, and they're owned by speculators who, who speculated uh, on the housing market as it was uh, progressing, and it worked for everybody until the downturn. And now, as those speculators are becoming credit-crunched, that's impacting their renters who are renting from them. In spite of its problems, there's an attitude among many in St. Charles County that this too shall pass, an optimism developed during years of prosperity that will carry them through harder times. I say the good Lord, hard work, and great people are the keys to success. So, um, you know, I've, I've got a real strong faith. We've got a great group of people at our company. So uh, those, are, those are the reasons we're, we're going to be just fine. I've, I've spoken to, to realtors, developers. It's like, you know, what can we do? And there really isn't a whole lot that we can do except be ready when the good times return. One of the downsides about being a self-sufficient community, a pull-yourself-up-by-your-bootstraps community, is that when people do struggle, they're less likely to reach out for help. And so often, by the time they come to the attention of a church or social service organization, they're very deeply in debt. And we would like for them to know that there is help if they reach out sooner. And it's more likely that we can prevent a foreclosure or help that family maintain some stability. Feel free to open the cabinets, look inside, open the doors, go out on the sun porch, see what it looks like.